Uh, shalom. Who praises to you? How are Shami Awa Shai? Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth in sincerity. Alright, so brother Paya Allah. It's gonna come with a quick news article. Um which is entitled from Yahoo News, entitled Britain's Prince William appears on gay magazine cover. London Reuters Prince William will appear on July cover of Attitude speaking out against homophobia for the, the first time the first time a British royal has been photographed for the front of a gay publication a magazine said on Wednesday. And this is part of the agenda the Luciferian doctrine which is the religion of the one world order, the new world order that the the elites of this uh, world headed by the Satan himself with um, Rothschilds and Rockefellers and all the 13 elite banking families as these um, um, elites on this earth but that's that's an agenda they're pushing homosexuality because even they had the they got the first gay president being old Barack Obama which had him on a um, cover of Newsweek I believe so all these um, this is this is an alignment with that William is seen grinning next to the headline making history and it's quote, no one should be bullied for their sexuality or any other reason. And this comes in um, right in time with, because you know these are, these are monthly publications, these magazines. So this one, no, just it's not like they did it in a heartbeat. This is in, um, in, in alignment with the Orlando, uh, the, the, the attack that went down in Orlando, right? where so-called 49 people, 49 faggots and 50 fags died, man. Which was, that weren't enough. It should have been more. Everyone should have died. It should have fell from the foundation. Okay. Okay, so it says, um, the magazine which usually features athletes, models and other stars under its main logo said the prince had, it, had posed for the shot after meeting the editor and a group of gay and transgender people at Kensington Palace. That shows you these that these people that are self ruling over this world are not fit to rule. Okay? So um yeah, this is part of their agenda. Alright. Um yeah, I'm just gonna skim through this. He said he said he William his brother Harry won praise in 2013 for saving a soldier in his regiment for a gay hate attack. It's quote telling anyone being bullied for their sexuality to report it to get his support. So it shows you it's, it's all that faggotry, man. Okay, but um, yeah, I'll read these last little little, little bit. I am very happy that, that the future king of. Uh, this is what the editor says, Matthew Todd. I am very happy that the future king of the United Kingdom agrees that this must stop. And I would urge parents in particular to raise their voices in their communities to ensure that every school protects, really protects all children. Okay, so he's talking about gay children being bullied well they should get bullied all right and the last pit point is the magazine whose print edition goes on sale on june 22nd went to press before sunday shooting at a gay nightclub in orlando where 49 people were killed like i said before it's this it was all in alignment with the gay agenda man okay so now well, okay bear with me one moment uh, this is this is an excerpt from a book by um, A. Ralph Epperson called The New World Order. And this is from the quote from the introduction. So I'm just going to read um, a few paragraphs. So the people of the world can now determine what these changes are. That these, that these in the positions of implementing changes have in store for them in summary than these changes are. The old world is coming to an end. It will be replaced by a new way of doing things. The new world will be called the new world order. 
which they speak about. You had on the BBC t um, show, you had, um, I forget the name of the female news presenter, but she basically told um, the British athletes that, congratulations, you're part of the New World Order. So, and that was to do with the London 2012 Olympics. And you have many other celeb um, political figureheads commenting on that as well. Many like um, George Bush Senior, um, I believe um, Ronald Reagan, but the list goes on and on. It's a common theme within uh, the media, okay? And then it goes on to say, the new structuring will redistribute property from the have nations and will give it to the have not nations. The new world order will include changes in, that is the main point I want to um, stick on. Homosexual, the family, homosexual marriages will be legalized. And this, this was written in 1990. So this has come to pass. Um, parents will not be allowed to raise their children. The state will. Ain't that so true? You get um, you have kids. You basically have to go to work in order to support them, and then basically they're getting raised up in um, the education system set up by ESO. So when they're in the education set up system set up by ESO, what's basically happening is that. Um, they're being raised up in a way he he what he deems fit. Like they will have your children. I know this from experience. My um, younger siblings actually going through this. I know children. You have had to read um, the two kings, which is about two homosexual kings having sex with each other. And then also they they have another um, story um, called um, the boy who wore the dress, which basically talks about a boy dressing up in a dress. And those are part of their reading curriculum, you know, that these kids you have to read at school. So reading on. Uh, all women will be employed by the state and not allowed to be homemakers. And basically that's, that's something that's been in place since feminism. Since feminism, the transition of, of, of power of the man being a hierarchy of his household has been switched over during the time of feminism. So feminism has allowed women to go out on their own and so-called be independent which really they, they're dependent their man is the government the state okay so that's their, that's how they've taken out the, the, the foundations of family divorce will become exceedingly easy and monogamous marriage will, will be will be slowly phased out that's right no one ain't getting married no more everyone's just fucking and sucking each other and that's really what it is you know it's really as, as straightforward as that <laughs> There's no two ways about it, man. And then um, it says workplace: the government will become the owner of all the f all the factors of production. The private ownership of property will be outlawed. So that's a centralization, like a good or privatization. Um, yeah, basically a good example is the NHS. Well, it's lucky that ain't a good example, but they're basically gonna just take over, centralize everything underneath the government. Then it says, uh, religion will be outlawed by believe believers, and believers will be either eliminated or imprisoned. There will be a new religion, the worship of man and his mind. All believe this new religion. That's the Luciferian doctrine, where basically they're going to subjugate all the people that are willing to this new world order. The ones that are not, they're just going to cut their heads off and cultivate and, and harvest it their organ, harvest their organs, all right? So they have an agenda that's being already worked. You can see that's why they had the prints, so-called prints on the cover of the magazine. And that's why that was done, because it was, it was to forward their agenda. So I want to read the scripture and I'll be out. Uh, Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there shall be no flesh, there sh should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Alright, so if the Lord didn't come, if the days didn't become as short as they are in this day and age we live in, Esau would have his way. There'll basically be no flesh to save when Yahweh Shai comes back. Okay? But for the sake of the elect, they're gonna did the days are being shortened so that they may be saved. So with that I pray they were edified and I say shalom.